So I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I saw this meme and I've seen a variation of this meme quite a few times. It's you can either choose to pay the farmer now or the pharmacy later. That oversimplifies it. And so I'm just gonna talk a little bit and kind of get this out of your head because there's a few different reasons that that particular phrase drives me nuts. First of all, it's because you can't just choose to go buy health from a pharmacy. Like maybe we see on Grey's Anatomy and I'll totally admit I'm a Grey's Anatomy fan. Um, it's like junk food, junk food TV. And I think it just like infiltrates our brain and we feel like we can go get in a 10 car pile up and get this horrible cancer and just like, oh, just go get your brain surgery and take these pills and then you're fine. That's not the way it works. This is months, years of physical therapy. This is losing, lo losing function. This is having to take injections just to stay alive for the rest of your month or just to stay alive for the rest of your life. This is expensive pills that have side effects. This is more expensive pills to treat those side effects. So a lot of people, they'll put that little quip up and I know where, I know the intention's good. And so I try to remember that and I don't comment on that because it's not my place. But I will talk to you on my YouTube channel. And so today we are gonna talk about that little quip, that little dismissive meme Thing that comes up a lot. It's not a choice. It's not an equal choice. And this is something that I get a lot from people like, oh, I'd rather be live shorter and be happy. It's like, you're not. Like the Twinkies that you're eating aren't making you happy. They're making you depressed. They're giving you psoriasis. They're making you have no energy to play with your grandkids. This is not making you happy just because it feels good as you, just because it tastes good. There were engineers to make that food that were paid probably millions of dollars to make you think that Twinkie makes you feel good. It doesn't make you feel good. That's not health and that's not a fair trade. Anyone that's trading junk food for thinking that it's making them happy in the moment and, that's, and they can just fix it with a pill later, it's not going to work. And the second part of that that I want to address is people, there are lots of people and a lot of them follow me. They have special needs children, they have chronic illnesses, no matter how they eat, no matter how clean they are, they are gonna be sick. And that's also dismissive to those people, and that's really sad. And so seeing those quick little, well, if you do this, then you'll be fine, is just, it's so hurtful to people that are struggling with chronic illness, those people that are struggling with children with disabilities, children with chronic illnesses, adults with chronic illnesses, or people with illnesses that they can't figure out. These are all the people that we need to be accepting and helping. And I know that those memes are just put up to be funny. It, and, I, I, and I understand the sentiment behind it, but just realize that first of all, it's giving you a false sense of choice, which you cannot choose to be unhealthy now and fix it with a pill later. And it's also giving you a false sense of security, thinking that if you do everything perfect now, everything will be fine later. I know that that can be oversimplified and I don't know it doesn't work for everyone, but it definitely does work for most people. Don't make those bad choices now thinking that you can fix it later with an expensive pill or an expensive surgery or a really smart doctor. You have the choice to make your, bo your body either your biggest source of freedom or your most confining prison. I'd love to hear from you down below if there's a nutrition or a health catchphrase or meme that you've seen growing around that drives you nuts. I'd love to hear it down below. Let's go ahead and see what else is out there and see if we can start correcting some of those little nutrition myths. Again, I know they're just all in fun. I know that the intention behind it is definitely good, but still mm, a little bit irritating today. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay.